Welcome back to Metroid Prime! <clears throat> Welcome back to Metroid Prime. If Samus actually spoke like that, I would respect her more and less. <laughs> hey, Ridley! You're not gonna be making no Metroid factories in this part of the neighborhood, man! It's either that or she talked like a YouTuber. S some different emotions would happen. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Samus, and yep. I'm just hanging out, just trying to take over all this, and these damn space pirates just keep fucking up in my way! Just keep fucking getting in my way, dude. What's up, fam? She's live streaming this right now. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we needed the thermal visor from the last episode because there was a conduit up here that we needed to shoot to power this door to move on and get the next thing that we need to get. Didn't we just come from here? Well, yeah, I mean, we basically saved here, then we went in the pirate base, and then came back out. And now we're going through another door in that same area that we couldn't get through because the power was off. Uh, Pay attention! Uh, <coughs> it all starts to look this. Okay, this is great. What was that about looking the same? Uh-huh. What was that? Would, do, you, do you wanna- you wanna- you wanna elaborate on there, Mr. Niskelman? Absolutely. Thank you for your third accent today, Samus. <laughs> <laughs> Greatly appreciated. Well, I mean, she's been everywhere around the world, and as, hu as humans, dialects, as humans right. we sometimes mimic, uh, you know, uh, some of the voices that we hear, and, uh, yes. you know, so I'm sure, I'm sure she's picked up, like, 12,000 accents in her long, storied career as a bounty hunter. That's like me and laughing. I don't think I've had a laugh to call my own in the past ten years of doing this. Because you don't laugh. <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> we all know that's a crock. Oh, hey! The, the boss everyone hates. Oh, uh, yeah, the boss everyone hates because it's a hateful boss. Uh, you can go ahead and spread your hate all over this if you want. I'm going to as well. This is also why we needed the thermal visor. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. To fight rocks? To fight rock man. Da, 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 da. Thardis. This is Thardis! Does he... Thardis um... smells like a fart. Damn it, I was trying to get there. It's like, do we need the thermal visor to find his gas expulsions? Came from Doctor Who out of his TARDIS. Shaking my head. S-M-H. Is he substituted later in the game, or is he one of the starters? Oh, come on! <laughs> it's the starters. So, yeah, he basically... Ah! He, ah! he has one weak point in his entire body that he can change whenever he wants, and man, is it a pain whenever he rolls into his goddamn morph ball. He can morph ball too, that's stupid. Why would they do this? Why would you do this? Metroid Prime has some really cool bosses, I mean, as a, as a series, but there are some that just like, okay, okay, okay. This isn't anywhere near as bad as Boost Guardian in Metroid Prime 2, though. Unpatched Metroid Prime 2, may I add. Okay, Boost Guardian was the other one I was thinking of. Boost Guardian is in Metroid Prime 2, and he is maddeningly difficult. If you're playing the unpatched version. They they nerfed him in later, later, uh, later versions. That is amazing. It's very rare when a Nintendo game gets a patch during the patchless consoles. Because now with the Switch, games get patched all the time because they have the ability to. Well, because they, they basically rushed out Metroid Prime 2. Yeah, that'll do it. And and under a time crunch, if that's if that's the best they can do, that's impressive. They did great. I love Metroid Prime 2. I know I'm not, you know... You're very alone I'm, on I'm, that I'm change. kind of alone on that, but <laughs> I fucking love Metroid Prime 2. Maybe it's because everybody doesn't like it, that's why I like it so much. Maybe it's because I, I've, I've warmed up to it over the over the years, perhaps. It's either that or uh, you're her filthy hipster for Metroid Prime 2. Before I started, uh, you know, doing the Metroid Prime uh, footage capturing, I was playing. I was uh, just playing through Metroid Prime 2 casually, and it's hard. It's difficult. I had to use. I had to use my thinking cap, but I loved every minute of it. Okay, I did. I don't know why, but I do know why. Cause it's fun. And it looks great, and, you know, it has better quality of life uh, improvements over, you know, over Metroid Prime 1. That's nice. Like the scan feature. Oh, okay. They made that easier to do, or yeah, better overall? It, uh, one part easier, one part just better looking. Instead of having just symbols that you scan, everything is its own color coded. I've already mentioned this, though. Yeah. We'll get to it when we get to it. Right now, I'm just kind of killing time because this boss takes forever! He rolls around, he's difficult to hit, he keeps changing his weak spot, which is difficult to hit, and, you know, it's, it's like, he, you. like he has, like, six different fucking, fucking, ah! fucking, fucking, 
phases. Yeah, how are you supposed to dodge that, like, normally? Just, like... You're supposed to use the morph ball and the boost ball, but I'm too busy trying to get an extra shot in, I don't care about my safety. Also, you're rocking, like, six E-tanks, so who cares about damage? Right, so we're, we're about the... We're, we're basically about the best we can be at this point. In fact, that's guaranteed, because you have gotten pretty much every collectible up to this point. Just about, you know, just but by this guy I'm going out. Well, it also doesn't help that the rocks are actually blocking the weak point. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you get it? Oh, yeah, you got okay, it. Okay, well, almost. We so now he's just a bunch of floating rocks. Oh, now he's got this move. That's... Oh, great, he has lightning power. Oh. That's impossible. That's impressive. Okay. Nice little trick. Okay, now we have to use a thermal oh, geyser great. to even see him. And there's the rock. Ah, no! Yep, yep, there's the rock. At least it doesn't take that much away. Just 20 health, which... To, just, you for, know, for something that hits you once and knocks you out of the way, it's not too bad. It's taking notes from King Dodongo. He doesn't, like, chase you or anything, and that's... that's oh, well. What, that's what made Boost Guardian so terrible. It oh, felt, the, the fact that he's reached right up on you. It felt like that he... that you cannot get away from him. And you're in the dark world in Metroid Prime 2, which means that you're constantly getting damaged. Go, go, go! Ah! Yeah, yeah that, that, that hurt a lot more. Yeah. Oh, well. I just want to be like my rock daddy here. Getting ball for... Ah! Oh, hey, you did. I killed a thing. After getting frozen. Jeez, it, it's, every time you get hit, it freezes you. Not like, oh, it has a 30% chance of freezing you. It's just like, oh, now you're frozen. It hit, it hit your your toe, and now your entire body is frozen in, in unbreakable ice. Now, just remember, fam, at 50 subs, I'll be sure to kill this rock thing. <laughs> Make sure to get those donations. Subscribe to my <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> ah. See, you know, she doesn't have the, the cushy job of the Federation anymore. I had to go to streaming. So she's, yeah, she's got she's to go to Twitch stream. Pay the bill somehow. You know, I heard at, uh, at a 2,000 sub goal, she was actually going to kill Meta Ridley. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. I mean, no pranks, no nothing. She was like, you know what, I'm going to destroy the leader of the Space Pirates. 2,000 subs. Eep. Who wants to who wants to hold me to that? And then if all else fails, she can just become a hot tub streamer. And Meta really is watching this is like, I will not let that medicine hunter me ah. me. The best part is, if she does get become a hot tub streamer, she could just stay in the suit. She will not dunk on me today. I will not be taking any L's. <laughs> he said while wearing a sideways baseball cap. Ridley, you nerd. 32 subs. What a freaking nerd. Fake. Is this guy done yet? Please. Welcome to my definitive Minecraft Let's Play. Ha ha ha. Ridley's the type of person who like comes out with Minecraft Let's Plays and then two days later makes a manifesto then disappears off the face of the internet. So, uh, I think he made good of his manifesto. I mean, he's leader of the Space Pirates. Well, that is true. And yet, the YouTube comments are still calling it out as fake. Hard. Edge Lord. Edge Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Didn't laugh. Didn't laugh. God, these puns are hard to listen to. I wish they would just shut up. Sorry, I was getting uh, too real there. I, th I thought you were gonna tell a pun there. <laughs> just reading YouTube comments. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, like, I, I went and checked some of our best videos to see, you know, what people have said about it in the past. Uh -huh. And it's mainly the Dead Rising 1 boss rush that I always go back to, because surprisingly it has the most views out of nowhere. It's our best work? We uh, Pete? Question mark? Never been able to top it? Uh, well, at this point, no. <laughs> been able to top it. But uh, I think the funniest part is it's... 98% of the people are like, this is hilarious. I love the gameplay. Wow. And the other 2% is, shut up! <laughs> it's just like, okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's a good metric. 
Yeah, tell our tell ourselves from seven years ago to shut the fuck up already! Shut up! Oh my god! God, that's hilarious. Oh, he's, he's just he's just a little. He's, he's basically just a wheel now. Just kill him. A spear. Kill him. Shoot it. Yes. There. Thank you. Uh, oh lord. Annoying. Annoying. So boss. you can't use the regular blaster to deal more damage? You probably could, but I like the wave beam, man. It shoots slower. You shoot slower. The fuck, dude. What the fuck, man. Who says that? We get oh, hey, cool out of it. Spider ball. Spider ball. Spider ball. Spider ball. Give Going all up the all the walls. At least the ones that have a rail. That's what you get with spider ball. Look out! We got the spider ball. Oh, there's even less space in that ball. <laughs> yeah, suck it in, Samus. You so, fat sack of crap. So, uh, nerfed a little bit from uh, Metroid 2, where you could spider ball onto any wall. Here, you are only relegated to the ones that have a rail on them. See, that makes perfect sense, because you could clip out of bounds if you were able to go on any singular wall. You let a player get on any wall, you will you will break your game like spaghetti. In fact, uncooked spaghetti. It's the spider ball that helps in the speed run of Metroid 2 Samus Returns. <laughs> of course. Because you just, you know, you ride on a rail and then, oops, you went through a save point. All right, cool. Retro's is looking at Mercury Steam like, tried to tell you. Yep. I tried to tell you. We you warned didn't you. Listen. You didn't listen. So, go along here. Like, this right here just feels good. Yeah, it's just... Just, just it's rolling nice. along on my spider ball. Mm -hmm. Taking a trip with the spider ball. Going around, finding where to go with the spider ball. Spider ball. Spider ball. Spider ball. Okay, cool. That was the only reason we came in here. Well, there's a uh, place we can go now. Ah! But you never get an item for nothing when you play this game. So there were no other collectibles in that room? There's a missile expansion in there. I don't think we can get that yet, though. Crap. Oh, perfect. Here we go again with yeah, my spider ball. Whoop. Gonna be able to move on. But we can't go through there yet. Who put this door in my face? Because that's an ice beam door. Who puts an ice beam door <laughs> Who puts an ice beam door in a cold place? Come on! Yeah, why would you want to shoot even more cold in the cold place? This doesn't make any sense. Any sense? This is just ridiculous. Alright, we gotta cut through Magmore Caverns, which is basically just becoming a highway at this point. It's a hot highway. I mean, if you look at the map of uh, Magmore Caverns here, it is basically just a long it's a snake. Yeah, it's a straight line. It's, it's just a snake. It's, it doesn't really branch off a whole lot of places, except to go to somewhere else, or it leads to one, one collectible. Mm. Oh, nice save point. Nice save. Yeah, this is the other save point that's at the ass end of Magmore Caverns. <laughs> the other one is all the way at the ass front of... Magmore so if we caverns. bend Magmore Caverns and have have the snake eat dude, its own tail, have dude, we created an Ouroboros? Dude, you're getting into forbidden sciences here. What, making an Ouroboros? Making an Ouroboros out of the caverns here? Because that's that's like taboo in uh, SR388 terms now? Well, they'll get over it. They're all oh, the pirates are looking for us here, too. Well, this is their mining facility, basically. I thought you just jumped off the edge trying to dodge the ball. <laughs> I mean, you practically did, but... It just would have been funny if all of a sudden the next thing Samus sees is a bunch of red. I don't think there's any pitfalls in Metroid. Like, at all. No, there isn't, because it would just be mean. Did he, it either void you out, which wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Mm -mm. The door just... Yeah, there's no there's no void out. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. There's so, just lava. It's a thing you don't think about until you think about it. Huh. Oh my god, I think... Wow. There we go. Wow. Oh, I gotta find these power conduits now. Uh, searching for power with our brand new spider ball. Maybe. No, with our with our brand old thermal visor. And let's take a look over into the lava. Boop. There's one. Uh, Actually, lava not as bright as I thought it would be. Well, now you see it. It looks pretty bright. And uh, two. two. I think I think we turned down the sensitivity for the for the heat here because otherwise we would be like 
unable to see anything. Probably for the best. But with all the surrounding magma, wouldn't that just heat up everything so everything would be hot? Especially all this metal. By the way, Samus is pretty much being cooked alive right now, I'm just realizing. Well, that's what the suit's for. Has her own central AC unit. Does she have the various suit? Then she's fine! Damn it, you're right. She's fine. We, would, we wouldn't be able to come down here. She would be cooked alive if she didn't have the various suit. Everything is connected, dude. Metroid, Metroid. I see you with the whiteboard and just thumbtacks and string see, everywhere. Do you see here? Do you when see? You get the various suit. That means that you can't get cooked alive because that means she's getting stronger and she can take the heat. And she's not staying in no kitchen. She is. She is good. She's cooking the whole damn meal right now. Let me tell you what, man. It's that imagery of Charlie Day in front of the whiteboard. It's just like, <sighs> I got boxes of Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> There is no Metroid Metroid. The thing does not exist. <laughs> God, I'm so glad you were able to follow that up. I, I don't watch a lot of It's Always Sunny. It's it, it just... <laughs> but by the time I got to understand it, it was already way too far along. Yep. And just... Same. But every time... I'm, I'm never disappointed whenever I do end up watching it. Oh, nice. So this place has just like a gigantic cooling system enabled to cool down all the magma. Well, so we can get into secret passageways. Or is this timed? I think it's timed until a certain point. We need to do all this just to get this. Oh, nice. Another E-Tank. Delicious E-Tank. If you're having a hard time with, uh... There's a Thardis. This is probably a blessing. This thunderous Thardis. Thunder? Thunder. <laughs> God, that song sucks. I absolutely despise that song. I hate Imagine Dragons. <laughs> Imagine Dragon D's nuts on your face! You know what I- Yes! Know, and I hate Imagine Dragons <laughs> because of what they do to all other indie music. Everybody wants to sound like Imagine Dragons. Everybody wants to suck. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wants to sound like shit. Thunder. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not, 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 not as bad as Believer. Every time I hear that, my ears just bleed. Just what kind of voice is he going for? Yeah! <laughs> down, down, Believer! Put all spore! Uh, let's see, it's the sound of. Okay, so you take a metal rod. Right. Okay. okay? Uh huh. And yeah. you find a metal trash can. Metal trash and, can. And right. then you just. <laughs> wow. It does sound like Believer. Believer! You shoot the puddle spores, they turn upside down. Oh, I kind of love pretty, that. Pretty easy. Basically waterboarding yeah. them in magma. How dare you? Maybe they're playing along, it's like, Oh, you got me! And then they oh, no! oh no! I am, I am dead! I kind of love that. A, a, a creature on a distant planet just goes, Oh no, I'm defeated! They look scary, maybe they're a bit more benevolent and uh, fun-loving than we give them credit for. Hi! Ah, uh, hey, oh, you got me! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That tickles! I like it when she jumps in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's the Talon 4 version of a Tickle Me Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> uh, M Magmores aren't cute and cuddly. They're, they're, no, they're, they're not. They're hmm. Absolutely disgusting worm bait. So, uh, yep. Kill them, please. We're basically just making our way back to Fendrana Drifts. Making our way downtown! To Fendrana Drifts. Oh, I remember this place. Yes. Yes. Okay. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, there we go. Shoot down the stalactites. First, of course. Tight or might? I forget. Everybody does. There, there's a mnemonic device, but I forgot the mnemonic device. Well, uh, well, it doesn't help if you maybe forget it's, the thing to help you maybe remember. It's, maybe tights are, uh, are, the, are the ones at the ceiling. Because stalag tights are at the top. Mm -hmm. Is what was that? It. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I would say post text, but I don't want to give myself the extra. Oh God damn it! There I go again. Well, there, we'll there you go. There's the answer. We'll see. Stalagmites are stalag. Maybe the bottom ones. Well, stalagmites are rock. Mighty fine. They're rock. Ah, ah doggy. See, all those pods are just stuffed with Thardis farts, and it's just. You blow them up and this 
You're just basically just crop dusting yourself. How does a TARDIS fart? You rub two rocks together. And then somehow gas happens. Maybe it's the kind of gas that has bionic matter inside of it? Look, I don't want to think of, like, doo-doo particles from a rock. That just does not <laughs> sound like the science I want to delve into. Look at my TED talk. Today we'll be <laughs> today we'll be discussing can rocks defecate. <laughs> Let's find this out. And there's an episode title. <laughs> can rocks defecate? Have you ever seen the uh, posts on Twitter where they talk about something like completely in utterly insane, and then they start in this tweet? I will one of question mark. <laughs> That's <laughs> just what I'm expecting to... So, so if you look at sedimentary rock, it's actually mm -hmm. made up of several things. <clears throat> yes. And one of those could be fecal matter. So in that in that instance, in this a rock, tweet, if it is made of fecal matter, and if it lets off that fecal matter during erosion, that could be a way that a rock could defecate, thereby leaving fecal matter in another environment. <sighs> we should never have given UDJ tweet longer. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> now he just goes on and on. Yeah, never send me to an oxygen bar with a science textbook. <laughs> yeah, just giving you any textbook is just a sign of disaster. <laughs> we could be giving you, like, how, how to create ice cream using uh, medicinal tablets. Have you ever read a Christian school science textbook? Oh my god, no. I have. Why? Oh, it made me sob. I Why? cried for hours. Like, from hilarity, or...? T t uh, I don't know, uh, I was- ah! uh, I was- I was saying a lot of things, and tears were streaming down my face. I'm not sure if that was, uh, laughing or crying, but... D did we get to the high-pitched wheeze laugh from you? Because you get that all the time from me, because- just because I suck at breathing. <laughs> that is a, uh, self-burn there. You gotta love him. Self-burn, like jumping out of these fires without waiting. <laughs> Take me, fire! <laughs> Just give the fire a big old hug. Remember, fire hurts, lava doesn't. What? You learn anything from Metroid Dread. Oh, that's true. The fire jets hurt you and take and make you take damage and push you into the lava. Yeah, wait, you don't wait a take minute. Damage. How does that work? I'm gonna call into question right now because the same thing happens to Super Metroid. Or in fact, all the 2D Metroids. How is fire more hot than magma? Well, think about this. Okay. If I put my hand on you, yeah, does that hurt? Well, your hand's a little warm, but if I were to slap my hand onto your arm, would that hurt? Maybe no. it's the force of the fire pushing her that hurts. Yeah. So it's not so much like you know burning; it's just like you know. I thought Samus was a stronger female protagonist, and she can't even handle getting a little fire in her face. Well, she didn't get strong until the end of Other End, didn't you know? Oh wow, well, yeah. Retcon it a little bit. Ow. Because Adam's dying wish was giving her permission to be strong. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, UDJ. Yeah. I give you special permission to stop being such a pussy. <laughs> now be a good hero, damn Thumbs it. Thumbs down. <laughs> God, I would love to see Adam Malkovich get canceled on Twitter. Jesus Christ, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he has some wonderful views on feminism. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. And uh, authoritarianism. Oh, even better. It's like, here's my bros in the shower room at the Federation. Hell yeah, hashtag boy group. It's like what? I'm just saying things went wrong as soon as women started voting. I'm just saying. <laughs> God, I hate that. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. You made it back to Fedrata after all that? I can't believe it. Yeah, that was it was basically just a roundabout way to get back here, but technically that was a shortcut because we had the magnetic uh, spider ball. Well, awesome. Got a few extra log log book uh, log things too, but uh, let's get one more thing, a couple more things actually. Slog, slog, big as happy as wood. Slog, slog, it's better than bad, it's good. It's better than bad, it's wood. Oh. Everyone needs a log. Log, log, log. Oh, that is not a baby she-goth anymore. Hello, mother. It is now a regular she-goth. They have grown up. Well, one thing we can do is we can overload it so that way it fires its beam faster, which we can dodge out of the way. And we'll just wait for them to hyperventilate and then fire a super missile into their fucking mod, and that should have worked. 
There Does it? There oh, go. there we go. Yeah. That's about the quickest way to take care of these things, and they kind of just stay there and then vanish. Goodbye. Huh. I must Goodbye. go. My planet needs me. To become one food. Goodbye. <laughs> this is about the part where uh, the Fendrana drifts have changed and the enemy makeup has been altered slightly. So if you missed your scans, sorry. Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that there the first time. Uh, and ding! Missile pack! Oh, nice. So what is that, like 10 million missiles? Uh, roughly 7.5 million, actually. 7 close, close million? though. Good number, good number. A lot. That's, that's, that's how many, that's that's how many subs Air, uh, Samus Aaron has on Twitch. And, and, and I, like, I did a few super missiles, and I unleashed a whole bunch of missiles onto Thardis. Try to... Thardis! Yeah, Thardis. Stupid rock man! Like Tharja, except not sexy. But because we got all these, uh, all, the, all these missiles, it just, it just... It's great to use them. It's fine. It's cool. Love using these missiles. I just love missiles! They're effective! They feel good to use! You know what I love about missiles? The fact that when you shoot them, things die! And usually it's not you! Wow! The thing that's supposed to die, it's not you when you have a bunch of missiles! One more around here. Let's see. Da, da, da. Ooh, I see that. Can we get that? I think we might be able to. Can I get that? Cause, cause I want this that. thing is made of cordite. What does cordite mean? It means we get to use some more missiles. What kind of missile? The super missile. That's right. It's the super missile. Destroys anything cordite or your money back. Come on. Get it. And we just uh pew. I think we just pew that. Pew. Pew pew right uh, there. Pew. Pew. Pardon. What, what do I do? Oh, you have to Something scan it the first. Walls to have been activated. Oh. Okay. Oh, I, okay. Whew. When all else fails. Little secret compartment. Oh. How about that shit? Well, how about that shit? How about it? Let's check. How about? Yeah. Let's check. How about? How that about shit? this? How about? Oh, magnetic rail, very nice. Imagine and, uh, that, yeah. there it is. Oh, bring it, bring it in. Oh, lovely, mm. yes. Mm. Love it. Abs Some absolutely Some more fantastic. missiles. Or your money back! Well, we did more than I thought we did. I mean, it feels like we didn't do much, but we got a boss. We got uh, one of our items back. We made an Ouroboros. We made, it, made an Ouroboros. We uh, found out Samus is a Twitch streamer. Got at least uh, 20 new subs from today. I'm so, a tier uh, three. <laughs> Go, go, uh, go ahead and spam the baby in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> no! Ay, ay, ay. Thanks for the follow, Doom Guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I'm being raided by Master Chief. Wow! <laughs> so, uh, it's me. I'm Samus. Hi, everybody from Master Chief's stream. So, what was he playing? Oh, Call of Duty? Wow, I didn't expect that from Master Chief. Likes to branch out every so often. <laughs> well, uh, for the fans, I think I'll about do it for now. Oh my God. Let's look forward to head a little more. See what we got going on for next time. Metroid Prime. You have huh? ten seconds. Go back there. Uh, you have ten seconds. Here. Oh my God! We're actually gonna. <laughs>